Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's King Vita here, and today I thought I'd doing a Japanese monster movie type Godzilla video. Hence, maybe just a Godzilla video. I've been doing God. I've been watching a lot of Godzilla, um, because Godzilla has definitely been my uh, my favorite go-to. Because of Godzilla, I've been gotten really into Japanese monster movies in general. So thought I'd do something a little different and just show you my Japanese monster movie collection. Uh, starting with this one here. This is the Godzilla collection, which brings volume one and volume two. Let me take these out here. Let me take all of these out here. There you go. Just to show you my... Godzilla collection here. Move we'll to this side here. I guess we'll start off with the back, to be honest. So this is volume one. This is the Godzilla collection. And really, it's not a collection of any sort. It's just movies. It doesn't have every single Godzilla movie, so that's why I have to buy them separately. So let me open here, and the phone's ringing. It doesn't really matter. But uh, the first one is Gojira, the original Japanese masterpiece. The second would be Godzilla which, with Raymond Burr. And um, it's funny because this one was made in Japan and this one was made here, but this one has the same recycled footage as this one. Fun fact, Raymond Burr here plays a character, a journalist called Steve Martin, no, not the comedian Steve Martin, which is a coincidence, but a it's a journalist that talks about uh, as Godzilla destroys and, you know, does his thing, He act, um, his character documents what's going on, and it's a really good movie, actually. It's a really good movie. They, uh, they use recycled footage from this one and add scenes from Raymond Burr in this one, um, you know, to portray what's going on. So that's very cool. So over here you have Godzilla Raids Again, which is the sequel to this one. And this is, whoop, this is actually the, the first time Godzilla actually fights another monster. And this one is Angurus or Anguirus or Angirus or whatever you guys want to call him. So that's pretty cool. So this is the first time he actually fights a second monster, a uh, 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 monster here. And then you have Godzilla versus The Thing. For whatever reason, I don't know why they call it Godzilla versus The Thing, because you find out The Thing is Mothra. Right there. So you have two... This movie has two different titles. Mothra versus Godzilla and Godzilla versus The Thing. It was released as well, so... That's weird. Also, I do like the color variants. So you have the black version. You know, the, 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 the one that's all black and red. You have red. Then you got blue. Over here as well as this one. This is the second version of, this is the second part of the Godzilla movies. Um, over here. And here you have green, which is Ghidorah, or King Ghidra, or wh whoever you want to call him. I guess. King Ghidorah, King Ghidra. Then you got Godzilla vs. Invasion of the Astro Monster. This is basically Godzilla vs. Rodan. So, that's pretty cool. Giant Monsters All Out Attack, which is... Bring uh, Gabara right there. If I camera wants to focus, there you go. That's Gabara. So that's the first time Godzilla fights Gabara and Terror of Mecha Godzilla, which is Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla. So this is a really good uh, collection uh, for those of you who you know uh, care about Godzilla and you know want to see more. Godzilla movies that you guys haven't seen yet. Let me move this over here. Got this bag everywhere. So, over here, you have Godzilla versus Space Godzilla. <laughs> There's my dad in the background. Um, over here is Space Godzilla and Godzilla versus Desatoroya. This is a double pack, which uh, I've mentioned in my first video. And it's very interesting because... Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla was, uh, 
released in 1994 there you go and this one was released in 1995 this these were a year apart and um this is a very nice if you don't own these two movies already this is a very nice double pack a double feature for uh godzilla and it's a double-sided disc there's my there it is double-sided disc and on the other side you have godzilla versus Destroya and Godzilla versus Space Godzilla. On this side, you have, on this one, actually, my bad, it's a triple feature. This is Godzilla and Mothra, the battle for Earth, and Godzilla versus King Ghidorah, and Giant Monsters All Out Attack. So, essentially, I have double packs of these movies already that, that have come out. Yeah. So... I do like the uh, the art cover on the DVDs as well. And here's Godzilla vs. Biolanti. Now, one thing I didn't realize until somebody pointed it out is Biolanti is actually a girl, a female uh, monster. I had no idea that... I had no idea uh, that she actually was female. And there's a disc cover. It's actually released by Miramax, which I thought would be released... It says Miramax, but it, except over here, because it's copyrighted, and over here, it doesn't say Toho anywhere besides those two places, so it's all just Miramax here. I don't know why, but I guess they had some sort of deal that they could release this movie? I don't know. Let me know what, what was going on there. If anybody knows what was going on there, let me know. Uh, over here, you have a double pack, which is the Toho Godzilla Collection. I guess there are more movies. I guess there are more movies that were released like these, like double packs. But the only one I own is this one, sadly. So this this brings, uh, I love the DVD covers on this one. That's Godzilla Final Wars and Godzilla Tokyo SOS. You know, I might actually watch these movies today. I don't know. But on the back, what's really cool is that if you pop them off, you have the movie posters. Let's see if I can bring that to the light. You have the movie posters. There's Godzilla, Mothra, Mecha Godzilla. That is so cool. Or Kiryu. I think he's called Kiryu. Mecha Godzilla 2. Yeah, I think they call him Kiryu. And on this side, you have this one with the exact with the movie poster here as well so there is godzilla king Ghidorah, and mothra i like their redesigns fun fact i think um if i remember correctly uh godzilla was a guy in a suit and fun fact for people that don't know of uh godzilla so there was a guy who was dressed as Godzilla and he would get so hot in the suit that he would pass out and believe it or not his the neck I don't know I guess I don't know digitally enhanced you don't see anything but the neck had two little holes on it so the guy could see because you know he would get he would pass out from heat exhaustion from how the, the, the material the suit was made of made from so that's very cool I don't know, but I'd feel very honored if, if I was a really huge, tough guy working at the studio and they'd name a giant monster after me. So that's, wow, that is a sight to behold there. So this is, uh, I don't know why, but it looks, kind of looks like a, um, I mean, when this movie came out, I loved it, but I think there are better movies than this one out there for Godzilla. Oh, and I do like the guy who, um, this guy played, uh, if anybody remembers the movie Kick-Ass or something, he was him and also this guy, what's his name? Aaron Taylor Johnson, there you go. Elizabeth Olsen, if anybody uh, has seen the Avengers, you know who that is. 
And of, excuse me. Of course, we got Brian Cranston. Of course, because why wouldn't we have Brian Cranston in here? Either way, it's it's a good movie, but I don't think it's as good as you know the original Godzilla. You know the original Godzilla movies. It's decent. This movie's decent. It's good. You know, this is like this was released by Legendary Pictures. It's good? Decent? But I don't think it it'll ever top the original Godzilla. Nothing ever does. At least in my opinion. And then you have this one. This is Shin Godzilla or Shin Gojira, which means new Godzilla. And I like the I like the cover of this movie. This is uh red and black. And the DVD cover is also like it's all black instead of blue, you know, hence the name Blu-ray, but it's, it's black, yeah, uh, a good, a good incar, a god incarnate, my bad, a god incarnate, a city doomed, Shin Godzilla, I like the, uh, I like this movie because this movie looks like, um, it's Godzilla zombified, he looks like a zombie in here. A reboot that is unquestionably Godzilla. Bloody disgusting. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, if anybody's actually seen the anime Evangelion... Evangelion? I don't know how you would pronounce this. It was the, the, the same person who made Evangelion uh, series, or, or the movies, or whatever, um, made this movie. I love the way Godzilla's portrayed here. He definitely looks like a zombie. Look at those eyes. He stare. It's like he's staring into your soul. That's very cool. And, um... Okay, so... From what I hear, this is not Godzilla. Like, Shin Godzilla. This is a new Godzilla. This is a completely different Godzilla than, you know, this one. Or, if you want to talk about the original this one, you know, this is not, this Godzilla is not the same as this one, uh, there, it's, it's, I guess it's an offspring of some sort, but, I don't know, that's what they say, but it's a really good movie, I, I enjoyed it, I, I really enjoyed it, and, you know, if you're a fan of Godzilla, I think you would too, because, I mean, this has a lot of, you know, destruction and a bunch of stuff everywhere. Also, his atomic breath. I like his atomic breath because they changed it from some, this whitish blue Kamehameha looking attack to a purple Gallic gun looking attack. Yeah. But he looks good. And you got a, a overhead shot of Godzilla right there. You know, I like the, um, I like the fact that when Godzilla was first made, like, when he first came out back, let me, over here, uh, right here, back in 1956, when he first appeared, um, I like the, the, the idea, well, I, I don't like the idea, because it was very tragic, it was really horrifying, because it really did happen. But they based it on the on the attack on Hiroshima, you know, the the the, the ancient attack that the the old attack, the bombardment of Hiroshima and it was just really really terrifying. But they thought, "Hey, why not make a real disaster and turn it into a uh, fiction?" So what the what they what happened was that the explosion of the, 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 the bombs that attacked Hiroshima um, caused a chain reaction, a huge changing of, you know, uh, animals, and they, the, the, the explosions kind of created this, this force to be reckoned with, which is Godzilla. It's a force of nature, that's what they call him. Uh, referred to him as in the beginning he was a force of nature 
and whenever you know uh there would be another monster who was affected by the same explosion godzilla would come and fight the monster i don't like the uh obviously every movie has to have a story but i'm not a really big fan of the stories in, in the godzilla movies because i mean nobody really cares about the stories i just want to see giant monsters fight each other and you know break buildings and things like that it's it's popcorn entertainment it, it's what's what it is it's popcorn entertainment it's not meant to be a documentary it's not meant to be anything else other than what it is also speaking of godzilla since we're on topic here let me go up here and bring in this right here right here these right here, let me put let me put these back. There you go in that order. <laughs> yeah, you could hear the <laughs> very annoying. Very 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 annoying. Let me put these back here. There you go. on there you are okay i'll talk about those in a minute right there but essentially we got two of these versions of godzilla in the united states uh and these were released by uh, this was a it's classic mini Hanna-Barbera. There you go. These were, for whatever reason, released by Hanna-Barbera. Uh, I guess they, I, I don't know. I guess they wanted to introduce, I put it in the light here. Uh, I guess they wanted to introduce Godzilla to the outside world, you know, to the world outside of Japan. And they released this for kids. This is a, uh, not to be confused with Zilla, which also got a, uh, cartoon, but I'll talk that, I'll talk about that later on. So this cartoon lasted for about, this is the original animated series, uh, Godzilla volume one and volume two. I really like these, the, this TV show. So I got both volumes as soon as they were released. This is one of the coolest, uh, shows I've actually seen as a kid. So this is the original animated series, and this was Godzilla and Godzuki, which is this guy right here. Not to be confused with Minia or Manila or, you know, however you want to pronounce them from the original Godzilla movies. But uh, this brings, this doesn't bring every episode at all, but neither does, like these two together, they don't bring every episode in total. Uh... But the, at least there's something to keep you, you, you know, happy as a Godzilla fan. Because I, I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this um, this movie. I mean, movie. Psh, yeah, movie. TV shows. <laughs> I really enjoyed this TV show. The original animated series. And uh, I remember uh, as a kid, I used to watch these in uh, Boomerang. There you go. Uh, back when I was a kid and Cartoon Network was like, you, you know, getting huge they kind of like capitalized on the uh, on the opportunity and they released Boomerang. Now Boomerang was a show that released cartoons from the 80s uh you, you know a, a lot of cartoons from the 80s and uh Godzilla was one of them. He would fight uh different uh looking monsters and you know he, he was the hero in this uh in this TV show. I don't think that any of these monsters ever showed up in, although that kind of looks like Rodan a little, but um, I don't think any of these monsters ever released on in the movies. I think they were just exclusive to this TV show, but either way, it was really, really good. The, uh, if you have a chance to find these, definitely f I'll pick them up because they're really good. And uh, they give you a sense of what Godzilla was supposed to be as far as like, you know, there's a giant centipede monster electrifying him and yeah. But um, they, give you a they give you a really good sense of what Godzilla was supposed to be 
uh, if you were a child, being introduced to Godzilla back in the 80s, I want to say, 1978, yeah, 1978 and 1979, close to the 80s, in the 70s. Uh, if you were a kid in the 70s, you would understand what this show is about if you watch the original Godzilla, you know, uh, the, the, the movies and stuff. So really great uh, animated series. If you find these for cheap, pick them up. They're really, th this entire show is so, so good. It is very, very good. So, yeah, and they had this, uh, th this show had this, like, uh, uh, joke, I guess you want to call it, where every time Godzilla would fight a monster, every time Godzilla would fight a monster, he would go back to where he came from under the sea, so, you know, and, and, and every episode was basically the exact same thing. Godzilla, a uh, monster comes out, Godzilla fights him. Uh, Godzilla fights him, goes back, rinse, and repeat. But the per but the one who actually called Godzilla, surprisingly, was Godzuki, after the request of his human friends, which are these guys right here. So yeah, really, really uh, interesting show if you guys never seen a, an animated series of, uh, the original animated series of Godzilla. And that is right. It is a classic. That's correct. It is a classic. Uh, moving on, we have two of these. Yes, I know. It was undeniable, but uh, yeah, un un unavoidable. My bad. Unavoidable. Now I know a lot of people. I, I know a lot of people really like Zilla. And that's fine. I'm not hating on anyone that likes Zilla. If you like Zilla, that's totally fine. But when I was younger, I never really cared much for the American Godzilla because the first Godzilla I ever saw um, was Zilla. This is the first movie I ever saw of Godzilla. Uh, and yeah, I kind of scratched it out because not to be confused with Godzilla. So they call it Zilla to be confused uh, so that people wouldn't get confused. But this was the first uh, Godzilla movie I ever saw be before I was introduced to the real Godzilla. I know a lot of... I do... All right. I never liked this Godzilla at all. This is a female version of Godzilla. I did not know that. Uh, and supposedly, I think it says from the creators of Independence Day, I think what they were going for was a Jurassic Park movie. But they, I guess they slapped the Godzilla name on it and boom, we got Godzilla. But uh, I know a lot of people like Zilla. I didn't like Zilla when he came out. I mean, I did. But then I f discovered the real Godzilla, and then I started hating on this movie, and yeah, a lot of people bashed me for it, because I, 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 I said a lot of bad things about this movie, but I've grown to like it. I mean, it's not Godzilla. Let's be honest. It's not Godzilla. It's nowhere near Godzilla, but for what it is, it's a good movie. You know, it, it's, it's popcorn entertainment. It's not, well, just like every other movie has popcorn entertainment, but it's not Godzilla per se. You can enjoy it as his own movie. As a matter of fact, uh, Toho acknowledges, I didn't know this until I actually looked it up. If you, if you watch the movie Giant Monsters All Out Attack, Toho acknowledges that this is not Godzilla. This is a completely different monster because in the movie... Godzilla actually fights Zilla in a scene. Um, kind of tail whips him into a building and atomic breaths him. But uh, yeah, they acknowledge the existence of Zilla. And they called him Zilla. Well, they didn't really call him Zilla in the movie. But, you know, he's known as Zilla now. Not to be confused with Godzilla. So, I mean, I've grown to like this movie. I just don't see it as a Godzilla movie, but as a regular monster movie, it's decent. It's good. I will admit, it's really good. Again, I think they were going for a Jurassic Park style look and ended up with this thing. But uh, yeah, but what most people probably don't know, that people that like this movie, 
that this movie spawned an animated series as well. And the animated series is so much better than this movie. My opinion alone, but I think that the animated series far surpasses this movie. And the animated series is right here. This is the Zilla. Uh, I, again, I scratched it because... I, leave me alone. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the Zilla the series. This is the complete animated series of this... guy right here. Or girl. I guess girl because they kind of acknowledge that he's she's female. But whatever. We'll roll with it. This is the animated series Zilla, and it looks way better than the movie. Again, my opinion. I think that this TV show looks a lot better than the movie. Most people that, like I said, most people that are fans of the movie don't even know that there's an animated series. And uh, this brings every single episode, and it's on stacked discs. I don't know why they do this. I hate stacked discs. This is, this is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. They should have flaps. You know, they, sh they should have like uh, one disc, then another disc, then another disc. But instead, they have them stacked one on top of the other. I do not like this at all. This is... If you own a DVD, if you own a DVD printing company and you decide to release, please do me a favor. Don't release them stacked. Please don't release them stacked. They're just terrible. Uh, when they when you uh, stack them, plus you might break the um, you might break the inside right here of the disc. If you press too hard, you could break the plastic as well. Don't do this, please. Do not do this. Use the flaps; they're a lot better. But yeah, this uh, going back to this DVD, uh, this uh, series. This is a great animated series. Uh, this is, in my opinion, I think this right here, as a matter of fact, yeah, it, it includes every single episode. Yeah, so this is the complete series. This here is what this should have been. My opinion, again, this is me and me alone. This is, it could have been better. This movie could have been a lot better, and this is proof of that. Because, again, most of the people that know this don't know this. So, and it's a 40 episodes, uh, includes the entire 40 episodes. Um, and, well, actually, it's 42. Because this also brings two unaired episodes as well. So, it's 40, the complete 42 episode series, not 40 episodes. But... Yeah, definitely check this out. If you're a fan, if if anyone out there is a fan of Zilla, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are, look at this. This is one of the most coolest, amazing uh, cartoons series of Godzilla uh, that there has been in 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 you know mainstream media. Really cool. The show moves at a fast clip and the animated animation is solid. That's true. This 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 show actually uh, is 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 at a fast pace. It's kind of like um I don't want to talk about I don't want to talk about something unrelated uh, to a Godzilla uh, movie uh, in a Godzilla video or monster movie video, but um. It's kind of like Dragon Ball Z in a way because it's really, really fast paced. Again, I <laughs> I don't want to compare one thing with another. It's like comparing salt to pepper. <laughs> There's nothing, nothing comparing them. But um, it's a really fast paced uh, animation, and uh, if you guys haven't seen it, really, really should. This is really good. And it's the voice of, uh, there's a biologist, Dr. Nick Totopoulos, Totopoulos, I don't know. And he's voiced by Ian Ziering. So, yeah, if you guys are Godzilla's and uh, fans, or Zilla fans and haven't seen this, do yourself a favor and pick up one of these. This is very, very cool. This is a very good series. 
This, again, I've grown to like it, but... Yeah, this is very... In my opinion, this is far superior. Again, no offense. No offense to anyone. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely might I definitely might watch that. Um But yeah, I just wanted to show you my Godzilla mo uh series. Also, uh I wanted to check out while we're in the topic of Japanese monster movies, I do have these two right here. And this is a uh they claim they claim that Gamera, I, I love Gamera, this is very cool. I'll explain what they, what these are in, in a minute, in a couple seconds here, but they explain that Gamera has, right here, Gamera ha finally has a film to rival Godzilla. Popcornpictures.co.uk, three out of four stars. Okay, so... In the midst of, you know, in the wake of Godzilla and all these popular movies that Godzilla makes, they decided to give one to Gamera. And Gamera is essentially, I think Godzilla fought Gamera at one point. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it happened. But um, Gamera is essentially a flying turtle. <laughs> what he is, it's a flying, he's a flying turtle that... Uh, I guess, fights other monsters. And uh, there's a picture of Gamera. Is it? Yeah, there's a picture of Gamera. I think he's flying or something. So this this is a triple... This is a, a, a trilogy. This is a trilogy, which is something that, is never, that I've never seen done before in the Japanese monster movie community or in the Japanese monster movie, you know, uh, history where they release trilogies. I've never seen a trilogy. I've only seen, like, you, you know, one movie after another. But uh, this brings Gamera, Guardian of the Universe. Shows how much I know. Uh, Gamera, Guardian of the Universe. Gamera 2, Attack of Legion. So I decided to pack two movies into one disc. So that's very cool. Um, I don't know. I guess they wanted to make more money off of this or something because they could have just packed all three movies into one disc. But they decided to release the third movie on its own. And I like the DVD cover on this one. It has Gamera up close. There's his eye. Revenge of Iris. Gamera 3, Revenge of Iris. Hmm. I wonder if The Flash had anything to do with this. I'm kidding, by the way. But, uh, yeah, Iris, uh, for those of you that don't know... Iris is a kind of like a mecha Gamera, if you will. There he is. That's what Iris is supposed to look like. So it's a mecha Gamera. But I, I enjoy these. These are really good. If you like Godzilla uh, and Japanese monster movies, you'll definitely like these. And these were released by... Let's see if I can find this here. Mill Creek. Mill Creek Entertainment, yes. And these were 1995. The original was released in 1995. Then Gamera 2 Attack of Legion, 1996. So these two are a year apart. As opposed to Gamera 3. Gamera 3 was released in 1999? Yeah, I think 1999. This one was released in 1999. So these two were a year apart. And this one was like... Yeah, uh, 96, three years. This was three years, which is kind of hilarious. Gamera 3, Revenge of Iris, three years after the second movie. So, uh, yeah, I suck at math. Go figure. But, uh, yeah, th these are really good to watch. If you're a Godzilla fan and you've never heard of Gamera, watch these movies. These are really good movies. Really good movies. Not gonna lie. Put 
gamma right here, right there. Also, uh, one thing I want to talk about um, is this right here. This is a, now that we're talking about monster movies, this is a cheap 50 movie pack. Now, about these cheap 50 movie packs, um, let me sit down here because I've been standing the whole video. But uh, about these cheap 50 movie packs here, usually they have like these really, really, don't be fooled because um, they have this really cool artwork of, as you can see, that's Gamera. But they're usually very cheap movies, like a dollar DVDs or something, you know. Th this is a gamble. Buying one of these is a really, ga really huge gamble. I think I have two of them uh, lying somewhere. But uh, it says classic 50 movie features. And it, you could tell that these movies are like a dollar. But uh, they're usually just cheap knockoffs. Um... However, you will find very rare movies. Like, very rarely would you, you find good movies in a set like this. Like, for example, right here, there's Gamera the Invincible right there. Um, yeah, Killers from Space, Hercules and the Moon Men, Teenagers from Outer Space. Yeah, just really cheap, cheap movies. Yeah, The Atomic Brain. You know, The Bride of the Gorilla. This is, uh, I guess, I would imagine... Well, which was Raymond Burr. But, uh, I don't know. It's kind of like a King Kong movie. But, again, one of those cheap 50 movie packs. But, uh, I think I saw a cheap 50 movie pack there. Which is really... Bad movies. Like, horrible dollar DVD movies. Um... But uh, you will find movies like classic, like Nosferatu uh, somewhere, which I do have. I have quite a lot of uh, horror movies, and I'll make a video on that soon, as uh, soon as I can. But it's really, really good. It's really good stuff here, uh, To if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, there's the, there's essentially my Godzilla... Uh, video so i mean yeah just to give you a little tidbit of who godzilla was so and and how we got to where we are today so there's my godzilla retrospect from my point of view and how i was introduced to him so yeah this king vita saying laters